सो गाइज वेलकम टू अ ब्रांड न्यू कोर्स ऑन दिस पील और यू कैन से पीलो मॉड्यूल इन पाइथन बेसिकली विथ दिस मॉड्यूल यू कैन परफॉर्म एनी थिंग ऑन एनी काइंड ऑफ इमेजेस ओके सो यू कैन सी आई एम इन साइड दिस फोल्डर वेयर वी हैव फोर इमेजेस राइट एंड फॉर दिस कोर्स पर्पज और ट्यूटोरियल पर्पज आई एल यूज पाइचम बट यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज लाइक वी एस कोड सब लाइम टेक्सट एटम जुपिटर नोटबुक एनी थिंग most of my tutorials are made in jupyter notebook like uh, these tutorials are made in jupyter notebook but uh, for this tutorial i'll use this pycharm okay and yeah so before writing the import pip or import pilo you obviously need to install uh, pil right or pilo you can say so for that you just need to write over uh, your terminal or cmd pip install pilo and remember one thing the pip should be upgraded to the latest version and uh, if you don't have pip uh, then while installing python you will get an option like uh, check mark the pip option and it will uh, install pip automatically so since uh, i already have pip installed on my device so let's just install pip install uh, pilo right so let uh, in the pycharm we have this terminal over here right so here i just need to write pip uh install pilo okay and the p should be in the upper case okay now if i run it so you can see the requirement is already satisfied that is because of pilo is already installed on my device but uh in case if you wonder like whether i am using the older version of pilo or the latest one you should always use the latest one so i'll just use p install hyphen hyphen upgrade pilo okay now it will actually check whether i uh, install the uh, you know the latest one or the previous one if i i have the previous pilo then it will just uh, upgrade to the latest one okay so if i run it so you can see i was using the uh, the older one so now it is downloaded and installed successfully on my device so let's just close this terminal for now right so over here i'll just create a new python file so to create a python file um, in the pycharm you just need to right click on the folder then uh, over over the new option then python file okay and name it anything i'll just name it like basics.py okay and yeah it should be python file and let's press enter you can see it is actually asking me that whether i'll just want to publish into my git repo or not uh, i'll do that later on manually okay so yeah i'll just close that one now i'm inside the basics.py you can see over here right so to use the pill you just need to write uh, from pill import image okay so now let's just do some basic things with an image for example we have this birds.jpg you can see this is the birds and one birds image and this is the uh, where is that yeah so uh, this is the cat a uh, sleeping cat image then we have a dog image you can see over here and then we have a lion image yeah so let's do one thing uh, we have this birds.jpg right and now let's see how to open this image inside the python file using the pill right so i'll just quickly make a variable called image1 and that will be equals to uh, the image method which you imported from pill so it should be capital i and then dot open okay and now we have to write the file name in case if you have the file in different path you just need to paste that particular path for example assume we have a folder over there so i'll just first of all write the folder name then forward slash then the file name okay uh, since i am already inside that particular folder so i'll just quickly write the bird dot jpg you can see we have these suggestions over here right and yeah now to show the image like we do in the matplotlib you just need to write over here image one dot show okay that's it like similarly we do in the matplotlib when you have to plot something you just need to write plt dot show similarly we have to write image one dot show okay so let's just run this uh, python code so for that i'll just quickly open my terminal and over here i'll just write python then the uh, python file name so that is basics uh, dot py so let's run it so you can see it opened that 
uh, image right inside the python file and it is now showing that particular image right so let's assume we wanna convert all the jpg image images actually into a png images format okay this is the really good thing about this uh, peel module you can perform a uh, certain tasks with multiple files right so yeah let's just quickly comment these two line and now obviously we need to use a uh, for loop but before that we also need uh, the os module i'm not going to teach you the os module inside this uh, uh, tutorial because it's totally a separate thing but just copy my code okay uh, that will be more than enough right and yeah so let me just quickly go into that particular folder and let's make a new folder called uh, pngs okay and where i'll save all the converted png files right so yeah so i'll just quickly uh, write for if in os dot list did and then you have to write quotation and dot that means uh, the images are inside the folder where this basics.pys existed, right? So you can see all are in the same folder. In case I already told you that images, in, if the images are in different folder, you just need to write the folder name forward slash then the file name, right? Obviously, yeah. Now inside the for loop, I need to check whether the you know the files are uh, you know. Uh, ends with that particular file uh, image extension right so i'll just check whether the file ends with uh dot jpg right so that means they are in the jpg format and i want i want to convert all the jpg format images into the png format image right so inside the if loop i obviously need to uh, open that particular image right so if i just print uh if and run this python file you can see it printed all the uh, file names bird.jpg cat.jpg dog.jpg and all right so that means we have to pass this if over here so i'll just quickly yeah i'll just quickly remove this if from here and i'll make a variable call maybe jpgs okay and that will be equals to image dot open and inside the parenthesis we just need to pass the if because if means bird.jpg right so you can clearly see in the previous one uh, we wrote image.open then the file name so image.open then the file name is actually if right and now we actually want to split this file name it it should be splitted with this full stop like dot so bird is the name of the file and jpg is the file extension right so i don't want to change the file name i just want to change the file extension right so uh, i actually want to separate these two things so that i don't need to write it manually right and so i'll just quickly write file name and file extension should be separated like normally we in list or string uh, if we want to separate a particular line then we use the split method similarly for os we also need to use the split method right so os dot path dot split text okay and it should be splitted with this dot right so now if name will uh, if name will means the file name and if ext will be means the file extension so let me just quickly show you that thing so if name and now if i uh, run it okay you can see there is some mistake maybe okay you can see it is showing me only the dot so that is because of i need to change it with f okay yeah perfect so now if i run it so you can see uh, the if name consists of all the file names only not the extension so and if i just print the if extension that means it will print uh, only jpg so you can see dot jpg is the file extension right so obviously i don't need the extension i just want the file name and now we are going to use the format string to save a file okay i didn't uh, show you that how to uh, save a file to save a file you just need to write image uh, the you know the variable name dot save like we do in the previous one we wrote image one dot show so in case if you want to save this file you just need to write image one dot save right so i just quickly write over here jpgs dot save okay that's it it will save in any format you want so i want it should be save uh, inside the png folder 
like PNG S folder. So I'll just quickly uh, write over here the folder name PNG S, then forward slash, then I'll use a format string. Okay, so uh, it should be a curly braces where I will paste the file name. That means this bird, cat, dog, and all, right? And the extension should be .png okay and now we just need to write dot format and the file name is actually f name right and yeah that's it that's all uh, we need to do and now let's just open the png folder now you can see there is no image available inside the pngs folder now if i run it okay it is running you can see over here Actually, it is basically converting all the images to the PNG file format. Yeah, so you can see it ran through all the images. It didn't throw any kind of errors. So now uh, let's just go into the PNG folder. So you can see we have this PNG format images. So let's just quickly view in the large icon. So you can see uh, all the files are ended with .png and all are like looking good, right? So these are the .jpg images and now they are saved inside the pngs folder in in like bird.png cat.png and dog.png and all and they are like in image format so there is no error obviously